Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Gaming Griffin. Uh, and if you remember where we last left off, we were in this ravine. And I have pretty much... Stupid piece of coal, I'm not worrying about you. Except for this... I swear I think that's a, that's a honeycomb. Or a, a hive. I have pretty much stripped this place of all of its valuables. So I figured I'd, I'd bring you folks along for when I... Stripped it of its last meaningful item and decided what I'm going to do. Because I still don't know. I have... Yeah, I have room. Okay. So I just got a rocky drone and a rocky princess. Sweet. Okay. Well, um, since I'm done with this place and don't need to worry about covering anything up... Well, actually, you know what? It wouldn't hurt to... See, I've, I've got a couple of ways in and out, but I found the water was actually the most convenient in the end. Just... Just for ease of... Getting in and out. So, let's see here. We will scamper... Oops! I always, I always hate that one. That one's the one that always seems to get me. Let's see here. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Grab some air. We'll come out right here. There we are. Alrighty, that, that gets me a nice big chunk of the way up. Actually, if you really want to see, I even cheese it even more. I come around to here. And that lets me skip another layer up. Because that's how I essentially, that's how you end up doing ravines, or at least how I do them, is you kind of, you go down, you find a good way down, like you'll mine your way down, and you just kind of do it in a spiral-esque sort of pattern. Not a pure spiral, but it, it is vaguely spiral-like. So, I definitely don't regret spending the time here just to get everything I possibly could. Because this proved, at least I believe it proved, to be fairly lucrative. I managed to get a nice chunk of items to my name here. Always have to check. Now, this crystal hasn't grown that I've seen. I don't know if maybe I have to, maybe it needs air around it or something. Oh, yeah, I, I actually, I stopped using that one. This is, uh, I'm going to put the two bees in here. Let's see, uh, iron, amber... Ah, the aluminum and the lead. Oops, out of room. Alright, um... Ah, screw it. The cobblestone could come out. Put the aluminum. So let's see here. The lead. Oh, I hadn't got. I actually got a uranium, but I hadn't gotten any lead, huh? Um, what else could come out here? Ah, screw it. These could come out. So that... That is pretty much the hall from getting this entire ravine cleaned out. Oops. Oh wow, there's another thing of coal. I've got a decent chunk of coal. I'm not sure I'm going to worry about getting every last little bit of coal. I mean, it's extremely useful and I'll need lots of it, but I can I can find it fairly easily. We'll we'll see. But I got a lot of very nice things. I mean, I got bauxite, I got lead. Well, let's see here. Box Bauxite. Bauxite comb. Hmm. Interesting. Got a lot of interesting things. I mean... Tin? Yeah, tin is used in a ton of stuff. It's kind of like aluminum. It, it's a... Uh, a fairly useful material when you get into the machining sort of blocks. So what this does beg the question is, oh, huh. This begs the question of, am I about to starve? Not ideal. Um, all right, well, let's dump this in, this in. Uh, we'll even dump this extra pig in. I apparently need a shovel, though. And there was, there was some stuff that we'd gotten before. I think you folks were mostly there for that, too, but... 
I ended up using iron tools just to keep myself from going batty. Let's see here. That should hopefully... Of course it's nighttime. This is a terrible idea. Although I see a pig over there, and that's all I need is one little pig. And I can run screaming like a little girl back into my... Domicile. Come here, you. Come here, you. I knew there was a spider. I heard it, but... Ha! I'm armed, sucker. I can't say I'm dangerous, but I'm armed. Oh, uh, uh... So, raw pork truck of it is. Okay. It's gonna be one of them days. Alright, let's see if we can get this this one without aggroing that skelly. Thank you for running right towards me. And three. We will be scampering right back to our little area. I seriously need to get a food farm set up. But that will involve actually choosing my location. For now, let's... Let's get... Should have used dirt. Oh well. Uh, let's get this in. Let's get that cooked. So the bad news is I have two plus chest full of stuff that I need to haul. So I need to figure out exactly where I'm going. Let's get this eaten. One more. And... There we go. Alright. There we go. Okay. Now the other thing I need is I also need some wood because I am out and I've all of seven torches left. And I'd really rather not do this at night. Nuts. Alright. Let's see. Tell you what, folks. When it hits daylight, we will be right back. Well, that lovely burning sound you hear is all of the monsters taking the great sun nap. So, oh, hey, jerk, how you doing? <laughs> oh man, is there another? There's another Enderman. Uh, you folks are bad luck. Every time I'm recording, there's an Enderman around. How is that anything but not okay? Well, all right, I kind of figured out at least part of what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm gonna start by doing this right. Uh, we are going to go with the mini map. We are going to enable death points. We're going to set a waypoint for the ravine. Let's just call it the shack of mining. Back, exit. Cool. That means I can get back here. So even if something terrible happens, not a big deal. And even if I die, I should be okay and able to find my way back. However, because things happen. Cough, cough, creepers. Shouldn't you be burning? What, does your armor prevent you from burning or something? <laughs> I heard there's like different types of zombies. Uh, didn't seem like anything special. Alright, well, since I do have, I mean, the cobblestone's not exceptionally vital, but it's valuable enough, especially to start. It's, it's a building material, you know? And when you're shy on those, you take what you can get. So, what's going to happen here is I am going to make, grab some trees. Use up the last of this stupid wooden axe, hopefully. I'm going to drop my remaining materials off at the little ravine of mining happiness there. And then I'm going to go wandering. Because I can always transport them. I just, I have to figure out where I'm going to call home. What I'm going to do, you know? And that could be a real challenge for me. Don't ask me why, but I, I have a trouble picking just the right spot. Probably because I'm far too fussy about 
what I want, even when I'm not sure. Like, I have no idea what my long-term plan is. Like, what kind of theme is my place going to have? None of that. Don't have a clue. So, that's kind of going to be interesting. Because I don't know what I want to do, so I don't know what kind of environment I'm looking for. Usually, when this happens, it's a, I wander around until I decide that I'm inspired by this particular locale. And then I make myself at home and figure out actually that egg is valuable believe it or not because chickens chickens are handy even if that one looks like it's going to drown alright the shack of mining we return so what we do is we take two of these Make ourselves a nice another little chest here. And we just dump the slightly more common materials into here. Uh, that'll include... Let's dump everything and see what we have left. We're actually, we're going to take at least a stack of cobble. We're going to take half of that wood. We'll have a sword. You know what? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay, we're going to use the last of this iron. Because I am going to need basic, decent tools. And an iron sword is kind of up there on that list. So I'm going to take a little bit of iron with me. I'm even going to take a little coal with me there. Alright. So hopefully... This will... I'm just going to do it right there. There we go. Okay. And, I mean, I shouldn't need it, but just in case. Well, you know what? We're going to... Well, actually, we'll have a slaughter sword and an enemy sword. So we are going to go and slaughter that poor little piggy. Mostly because I'm still kind of low on food. Sorry, dude. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Here we go. Okay. Now the real question is, what is going to inspire me? Huh. Do I have one of those? I don't think I have one of those. I'm actually glad I didn't get very far. Because I... Don't ask me why, but I think the bees are going to be useful. Or at least I can make them be useful. So we are actually go. We forgot a tool. We are going to take... And actually, you know what? That reminds me. Well, since we're not going in and out of here all the time, we're going to at least partially seal it up. And we're going to take this. Alright, cool. So, there we go. Alright, so where was that? Because I don't think I've grabbed one like that, and I... I get the feeling that you want to grab all the different species of bees because they give you different things and then you have to crossbreed them to get the other species. So... I'm... I don't remember one like this, but I could be wrong. What are they? Marshy. I don't remember a marshy. Pear being part of my collection. So we will go ahead... And when I see stuff on the surface like this, I am just going to grab it, because all of the materials are very necessary. It's actually a cave. Are you serious? Why me? Wow, okay. How deep? Okay, cool. It's not very deep. So we will, we will go ahead very rapidly strip this out. Not even gonna worry about fully lighting it because I don't really plan on being back in here. But mats are mats, as they say. So let's grab all this. And be on our way. Hopefully. Here we are. Man, I'm burning daylight. Grab and 
and go. Let's move. Man. The problem is, to cheese it, to just get yourself started, coal is actually kind of useful. At least if they, it's similar to tech it, you can, you can barely scrape out, like, a just enough, like, you do a basic generator, you throw some coal into it. And it will, it will get you enough power to make the better machines, is usually how it, how it works. So... Go away, zombie. Nobody loves you. Alright, good enough. Alright, so this... Ooh, that's pretty. I wonder what that is. Well, I know what you are. There we are. And... Goodbye, piggy. Wow, that's really pretty. I wonder what that is. Well, even like it sparkles and everything else and it's got these pretty flowers right by it. I don't think I want to mess with it because I, I don't know if you have to harvest it in a special way or not. I'll come back. I mean, it shouldn't hopefully be too hard to find. But I might try and s if if it, if it gives saplings, I will definitely, I will definitely steal a whole bunch of saplings from it. Plant a little forest of it. <laughs> All right. So what is this biome called? This is a river. Oh, a lush redwood. Okay. Yeah, got a little chunk error there. Let's look away. Hopefully, it's so it'll sort itself out. Do -do -do. I mean, the redwood areas are very cool. I cannot argue that one at all. Hello. I'm sorry, piggies, but, um, food. You are delicious, delicious food. Oh my. Ah, somebody's been here. And you know what? I am totally gonna steal their saplings. Because... Fur. So that's a fur sapling, huh? Now that does look familiar. I think we've already grabbed one of these bees. I think. Although... Let's find out. Yep, we've got two marshes now. Okay, it looks like we've hit an ocean biome. Yeah, we definitely hit an ocean. Actually, that's not a terrible thing. Because what we can do... I probably should have brought one with me anyway, but... What we will do is... Need to do two of these... There we go. Alright. So. We are going to... Get this boot to move. There we go. I'm gonna go explore the wild blue yonder here. And we will be right back whenever I manage to hit the other side. Or I could look back to shore and spot something really cool looking. So, um, yeah. Belay that. It's been all of like five seconds. Sorry. Oops. My boat broke. Darn it. Oh well. I'll make a new one. But this doesn't look like one I know, and neither does that one. Jeez. Alright. Yeah, I definitely did ha- d Meadows. Okay. It was spawned on sand, but what do I know? So, alright. That's that. This one might be the same, but we'll see. What do we get there? Marbled. No, I did not have these. Okay. Wow, there are a lot of types of bees, aren't there? Oh, are you serious right now? Are you serious? Freaky creepers. It's my own fault for breaking the boat. I should have been more careful. And there's another creeper spawn. Awesome. I hate creepers. I hate creepers. I hate creepers. I hate creepers. 
yeah, you know, this is why I spot something, I go back for it. Oh, well, there's another one. I'm almost positive I've gotten one of those, though. Almost positive. And you know, it's it's not like it's too much to ask for you to actually go somewhere else, is it? Of course it is. Jerk. Alright, alright. I'm not a complete pansy. I could take out a creeper. I have an iron sword. Let's get it done. Hopefully. I'm gonna be s I I'm gonna screw this up and be so angry. I can do this. I can totally do this. Let's start off with his air support, or his range support here. This scare you. Alright, Mr. Creeper, I see you coming. Whoa, seriously? I wasn't anywhere near you. What was wrong with you? Well, I'm gonna grab all this stuff you opened up for me anyway. Fine, be that guy. Alright, um, nope, I can just produce another one here. And, actually. So, time to go. Let's get away from the shore, and now I will be right back. Alright, folks, I officially think I have found what I hope is going to be my new home. I, I, I ran into it a little ways over here, but I decided to, you know, kind of work around the area. Oh, come back here, you. I'm going to need you. Yeah, come back. So, let's see. Thank you. Hey, come back here. Did I say you could leave? Apparently you decided you could. Never mind. Okay, fine. So, I spotted what, what really attracted me to this area was apparently it naturally grows these trees. And there's a fancy one over here I hadn't had a chance to take a look at yet. Heh <laughs> And I, I won't lie, I also kind of waited for dawn, so I wouldn't be. I'm sorry about that, folks. There was a there was a crash, and I actually, I lost a bit of footage, because, well, I, okay. If, uh, if I'm correct, then you last saw, uh, we'd just come ashore, we'd just seen this awesome meadow, which, uh, in, uh, yeah, we're staying here. This is, this is definitely where I'm setting up shop. I also did a little exploring, and I got something quicksilver. I got two things off camera, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Quicksilver. Well, yeah, I wish I knew what it was used for. And I got corn kernels. And I also found a rubber tree. That was the other re thing I, I really was happy. I found I found a rubber tree. So, yeah, there's technical difficulties. Please, please forgive, folks. It, it happens. But essentially what I found out was over, over this way, I believe it was. Yeah, I think so. I am bordered on this this uh, side by a forest biome, which is awesome. I'm I'm actually really really happy about that. Oh my, that's not so good. I wonder what that is. Huh, I'll have to find out. And I found the quicksilver under one of these trees. I have no idea what it does. I'll have to find that out. That's lots of these bees. I, I I'm not sure what type that is, but yeah, I was I was exploring over here. And I just, I ran through the woods. And it's just a very, very large... Yeah, you can even see where I dumped. Yep. So I was running around in the woods over there, just checking it out, seeing what it's like. It's just a very, very large, like, forest biome. Which does not offend me at all. So I ran through there, found the, for found the rubber tree, which was, like, the big find. So everything else is kind of just gravy at this point. I am... I am definitely home. This is definitely where I'm gonna set up home base and make my mark upon the Tekkit world. Or not the Tekkit. Yeah, I'm still used to thinking of Tekkit. Well, I'm ashamed of myself to feed the beast. More specifically, the Blockception feed the beast. So yeah. Yeah, this place is very, very nice. I'm, it's not like I'm bordering a meadows to a badlands sort of thing. Ooh, that looks like a cave. Oh my. And it does look like there's resources around here. I mean, there are plenty of ways to keep myself in trouble. Lots of beehives. Lots and lots of beehives. And man, I'm looking at the mini map and I don't I hope you, I hope you folks can see it. This is just a very, very large forest. 
Wow. I don't think I'd appreciate it. E even when I was running through, I just, I found the rubber. The rubber tree and I was just so happy. But, yeah. I think this entire rest of this, I mean, I mean, at least the rest of a big chunk of this continent is just forest. Which is awesome. Looks like I hit a river over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... That's a river, and it's just forest all the way. Even across the river. Nice. Very nice. I am definitely calling myself a happy camper. Oh, it looks like there's a little lake over here. Either that or it's an outlet to the ocean. Yep, looks like we got a little bay over here. I wonder what that is. Oh, they're just flowers. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely sticking around here. I think I'm going to set up home base in the meadow. But this area is fantastic. I'm definitely getting that inspired vibe that I always go looking for when I'm trying to find a new place to call home. So we will scamper up here. Try and get a little bit of height. Oh, bother. Oh! I think that's another rubber tree, but I'm not going to tear it down because I already have a sapling, which is all I really need. Because I can just farm, and if I have to, I can come back looking for saplings, but, yeah. Oh, what the, oh, oh my, uh, I have some raw pork, hang on. Should have been watching that a little closer. There we go. Alright, yeah, we're gonna call it there, I'm gonna head back, I'm gonna put a waypoint in the meadow, and I'm gonna start ferrying all of those supplies I left at the, at the ravine that, should hopefully get me started very, very nicely. So, when next, on the next episode, you will hopefully see me start establishing at least a little temporary abode, and I will start trying to get the essentials put together. So, that should be kind of interesting. Hopefully, I have enough resources to get something started, at least. Until then, I'm gonna keep on trucking here, and I will... See you next time. This is the Gaming Griffin, signing off.